All right, welcome to the shop. We're working on a boat. So in last week's exciting episode, we talked a little bit about uh, fixed fire suppression systems in our boats, and particularly one feature that I find is very important in a fixed fire suppression system, but so often is lacking, and that is a manual pull station for an automatic system. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. It's, it's great, you're gonna love it. Uh, the other th the other component of a fixed fire suppression system that I find very important and often lacking in some of our boats is this. This is an engine sh automatic engine shutdown system. Now, how it works. <clears throat> in the event that our fire bottle is discharged, there's a pressure switch on the bottle that will send a signal to our shutdown system, activate the relays inside, and we'll shut down our engines, generator, blowers, and anything else in the engine room that's moving air around. Now, why is that important? Why do we need to shut our engines down? <clears throat> well, when our bottles discharge, fire bottles discharge, they release their extinguishing agent out into the engine space. And we want that extinguishing agent to flood the system, or flood the space. We want it to flood the space and smother the fire, basically. Now, if our engines and our generator and our blowers are there and we're, they're inhaling air, they're also gonna inhale our fire extinguishing agent and send it out the exhaust before it ever has a chance to smother the fire. That's where the automatic shutdown system comes in. Uh, it will, when the pressure in the bottle is released, but the bottle's discharged, extinguishing agent floods into the space, that sends a signal to this device that shuts down engines, blowers, generator, anything else moving air around. And gives our extinguishing agent time to flood the space, smother the fire. <clears throat> now, how do you know if you have one of these? Uh, probably one of the easiest ways is you go down and look at your bottle. Um, if you go to your bottle and you see something that looks like this, So loose wires on the pressure switch, um, you, you do not have this. Uh, that pressure switch is not connected to the system. Probably the most best way to do it, to know if you have one, is to get someone who is qualified and inspect the system and certify it. Uh, preferably someone who is knowledgeable about the marine systems. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that inspect fire systems, but there is a pretty big difference between a fire suppression system in a restaurant or an industrial setting or in a residential setting. Uh, those are far different than the systems that we have on our boats. So we really need someone who knows how to inspect a marine fixed fire suppression system and see that this system is working and working as it should. Okay, so we talked about it. This is a very important component to your fixed fire suppression system in your boat. And uh, one of those features that I find is sometimes lacking. So check it out on your boat and see if you've got one. Uh, if you've got one and it's functioning, that's great. You're beautiful. Uh, if you don't, uh, you should really get one because these things are like really super important. I think you broke it. I did? Probably. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, if you've got one, uh, that's great. If you don't, um, well, hey, let me know. Um, I got one on sale, um, limited supply. Uh, that'll, that'll buff out. So um, keep working on your boat, and we'll see you next time.